Frank, I'd like you to meet Jim Keller. Jimmy! Alone! Mad old stick. This is what you've been hiding. The wedding's off. Are you sure? I can't marry Chris when I'm in love with someone else. G'day, mate. You two know each other? Yeah, we know each other. Don't we? Out of your mind? You're taking heroin? You knew she was a junkie and you didn't tell me. Well, I didn't know she was using again. Again? I'll get help. I'll do whatever it takes, whatever you want. Oh, Jane. Please, Mike, don't leave me. Jerry Ellis. Who is Jerry Ellis? Jerry Ellis, comprehensive nurse. I believe this guy is helping Oscar to recover the money he stole. The problem being, Oscar's in a vegetative state. You don't believe me? I'm sure Mackenzie has got Oscar's money. And I'm sure she's about to do a runner. That's why she's selling the motel, right? That's why we have no, to No! No, Greg, there is no we. Can I help you? A friend asked me to stop by. What friend? Oscar Henry. You've got something that belongs to him. I think you do. A million dollars less what you spent. Oscar wants it back. And I'm here to get it. Whatever it takes. Are you threatening me? <laughs> Call it what you like. But I'm not leaving here empty-handed. I don't get it. When did you guys meet? Recently. A week or two ago. So how do you two know each other? Rangi's the guy I'm seeing. Rangi? His name's Ken? No. I should know. He's my personal trainer. Excuse me? I can explain. You're the paramedic jerk that overworked him. What? What's going on? Just what I'm about to find out. Can you leave us? I'll call you later. Do that. I'd like some answers myself. I can explain. I can't wait. I just want to see what the guy looked like. So? So I went to his office just to check him out, that's all. Instead, you offered your services as his personal trainer? No, 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 no. I, you see, that's what he thought I was there for, answering some ad. And you took the job, why? Because, I don't know, it was an accident. Uh, and I suppose the heart attack was an accident too. Well, what are you saying, that I deliberately tried to hum? You know, I wouldn't do something like that. I don't know anything, not anymore. No, no, Varney, look, I'm really sorry, I never meant to intend... Save it, Rangi, I don't want to know. Varney! I've already told you why I can't help you. You know, I, I don't even know how I feel anymore. The whole relationship, you've been lying to me. I didn't want to. But how could I tell you something like this? Well, you should have. You have no idea how I might have reacted. I can't kick it, Mike. Not by myself. Well, there's rehab. Been there, done that. Look at me now. I'll beat it myself this time. I'll go home and... You can't. You can't do it on your own. You know that. Well, what other choice do I have? I don't know. Mike, I need you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, and I'm the worst thing that's ever happened to you. <laughs> Just my luck. I'm going to wait for my discharge forms and reception. Jane. I don't want to let you go. So, tell me, how did Frank Malone, walking social conscience, end up here? Hobnobbing in the world of private medicine. Well, believe it or not, I thought I could make a difference. Like setting up the central deal to get their waiting list down. Ah, still fighting the good fight, eh? Only from a higher perch. Except now I'm losing. David's hell-bent on getting out of the deal. He's only pushing patients through to make money. The worst thing is, I've been helping him without realising it. Working my fingers to the bone. Which is where I come in. Mm-hmm. Reinforcements. Push the patients through faster, keep the money coming in. Only I plan to pace myself. I'm glad you said that, because a go slow is just the thing. Who's that... talking about a go slow? Well, we are. We show David he can't treat patients Sorry, like Frank. some kind. I've been hired to speed up the process, not to slow it down. Yeah, Jimmy, this is what I'm telling you. We... Maybe, but uh, I still can't help you. And here's me thinking you supported the public health system. Well, I do, but this is a private clinic, and County's the boss. I do what he pays me to do. That's it. I knocked on Steve's door. He's not answering. 
I'm not surprised he's checked out. Wait. 20 minutes, tops. In a big hurry. Still a load of cash at me, more than he owed and scarpered. Cash? Flush with it. Maybe he robbed a bank. Haven't you done that yet? I'm getting there. Hey, did you catch up with Greg? Greg? Oh, he was looking for you earlier. What did he want? We didn't say. Did you tell him we were leaving? Yeah. OK, look, um, I've made a mistake. We're going to have to be at the airport at 5, not 6, so you better get a wriggle on. Well, there's no rush. We've got plenty of time. I said get on with it, Luke. Well, OK, settle down. Oh, OK. Now, there's something very urgent I have to do, and it's only going to take an hour or so, so I want you to stay here in the house, OK? Why well, are you going past the coffee shop? Because if you are, can I get a lift? What? Well, I thought I might get a milkshake before. No! I... Well, why not? Because I need you to stay here. Why? Uh, to keep an eye on the bags. I mean, what if someone broke in or something? Was well, if that's going to happen? You are not to leave the house. Do you hear me? Just tell me one thing. What? Where are we going? <laughs> How does South America sound? Awesome. Uh... Are all the windows and the doors locked? Yeah. I'll be a hand and double check for me, would you? And I meant what I said, you are not to leave the house while I'm gone. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, Spidey. Time to move out. Now, remember what I said. Don't leave the house. Look, this trip is costing me far too much to have anything go wrong at the last minute, like not being able to find you. Yeah, I'll be here. Right. Bye. What clinic are you taking to? That's the thing. She wants to detox at home. Her place? Mine. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Look, I don't either, but she doesn't want to go to rehab. Well, she might have to. Do you know what it's like assisting a detox? Jean's going to have to stay at home. You won't be able to work. She's going to need round-the-clock care. She's going to be physically and psychologically all over the place. Hey, okay, look, I know it's going to be tough. But not how tough. Look, Mike, I think it's really great you want to help, but you've got to let trained professionals look after her, for both of your sake. Thank you so much. I'll know for next time, won't I? Turn off the water, mate, now that I know where it is. Only there probably won't be a next time because I'm not going to live that long. Got your work cut out, eh? The computer system is horrendously out of date. Which is why it takes half a decade to get anywhere. And the bad news, quite for the upgrade. I know it's a lot, but it has to be done. The current system is not Y2K compliant. The millennium bug. Well, it could bring the whole thing crashing down. Rubbish. It's just scaremongering to make companies spend more on software. I don't think so, Nick. Yeah, you just need... Well, either way, we need to speed the system up, and if an upgrade's what it takes... It's not. But out. Your system's cluttered, that's all. Get rid of a few hundred unwanted files, bingo, full speed ahead. Really? No, that's not what the expert has told me. Give me two seconds and I'll fix it. It's my baby, remember? Was yours, years ago. No, 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 it's worth discussing. Come on through. Cool. Thanks for your input, Rach. Well done. Hey, time for a coffee? Have you? I thought you were rushed off your feet. Yeah. Dynamo Jim's got it under control. Dynamo? Mm, he can't cut through the patients quick enough. Anything to please his new boss. I take it you're a little disappointed. The man used to have principles. What happened? Well, maybe he left his soapbox behind and moved on. Unlike me. I know you care, Frank, and that's great. But we have to get out of this deal with Central. We're a private clinic. And the first to be abandoned are those on the waiting lists. 
How many times have I heard it? That is not what... Frank! Fantastic. Have you seen Mackenzie? Well, it's her day off. She's at home, probably. Well, she's not, and I can't find Luke either. He'll be at school, won't he? No, I tried. Well, maybe they're doing something together. Yeah, Shopping, thanks. Then... It's not a problem. Oh, there's someone here to see you. Chris. <clears throat> I suppose you want to thump me. Just ask you a question. Why? I just had to see you. That's all. Put a face to a name. And the matey personal trainer bit? OK. It was stupid. But I wanted to see if you were a jerk so I could put Varney off. I must have looked such a fool. No. No, you didn't. And for what it's worth, I think you're a really good guy. <laughs> it's worth nothing not coming from you. I just hope you had a good laugh. Did you see Ellen? No, I didn't. But I saw Vani and... She thinks you should go back into rehab. I can't. I told you I've tried rehab and failed. It's not for me. I know. It's just that Varney said that... No, I don't care what she says. You said you'd help me. And I will. It's just... You know, I'm a little out of my depth here. It won't be that bad. It's, it's not like I'll be fighting it. I want to get clean. Well, that's really great that you can say that now while you're high, but what about tomorrow when all you need is another fix? Look, you've obviously changed your mind, which is fine. Um, I'm going to call a cab to my place. Jean, no, OK? I said I would help you. I want to help you. Discharge papers. Finally. Now, Jean, we need to talk about where you're going. Um, we I think that's taken care of. Oh? Jean's going to come and stay with me. I'll be looking after her. I see. And that means I'm going to need some time off. At least a week. Probably more. Why aren't you at school? Because I'm not supposed to tell anyone, but me and Mackenzie are going overseas. When? Well, tonight. And where is she now? Um, clinic, I think. She had some urgent business. Like what? Well, I don't know. She was pretty grumpy, like, real snappy. Someone's going to get it. Oscar, I've got to go. Um, listen to me, Luke. You must not go anywhere with her. Why not? Just trust me. Don't go anywhere. Not before you've seen me, yeah? This the social club meeting? I didn't know you were a member. Oh, got to inject some fun into a dreary work life. Yeah, well, the others must have got held up. Now, I've got some ideas. How about a quiz? Sports trivia? You'd know something about that, would you? Oh, I see. I'm gay, therefore I wouldn't be interested in sports. I didn't say that. No, you're right. I should stick to what I know. How about a Mardi Gras? A hero parade? I've got it. A Barbara Streisand lip-syncing contest. I think this is a complete waste of time. Two people do not a meeting make. You made it. What do you want? Um, to say goodbye. I'm going overseas for a few weeks. What's that to me? Well, I mean, I'm going to miss you. I miss you now. And I was thinking, when I get back, <sighs> do you want to start over? How thick do you think I am? Hey? I know that you were using me. Well, I wasn't using you. <laughs> You were. You never loved me. You never wanted a wife. You just wanted sex to make you feel better. Well, that's not true. Who told you that? I know it's true, Luke. Mackenzie told me all about it. There's something you need to know, Oscar. Jerry's got your money. What makes you think he'll come back and help you escape? He won't. He's done a runner. And Mackenzie's leaving too. Don't you care about that? Well, I do. I care about Luke, and you are the only one who can stop her taking him away with her. Please, Oscar, put a stop to this once and for all. Speak to me. Fine. Stuff you then. You're on your own.
like Grand Central Station in here. One can hardly get a moment alone with you. I've come to say goodbye, Oscar. Final goodbye. I'm leaving. <laughs> I have to say, this really is an award-winning performance. Had me completely fooled. Until I met your friend Jerry. All I had to do was double his cut and he told me everything. Should be halfway to Oz by now. And I've got the rest of the money quite safe. So, bye bye, Oscar. You lose. Before you ask, I'm working on the clinic computer system and I'm allowed to be here. Do I look like I give it to us? You look like you won the lottery and lost the ticket. What's up? I've blown it with Barney. Ooh. Now there's a surprise. Don't start again. I feel terrible. You should have listened. You said you're asking for trouble. I was trying to hold on to the woman that I love. Right or wrong, that's how it was. Have you tried explaining that? She won't listen. So try again. There is no point. You just said you loved her. What more point do you need? Hey, Mike. Guess what? Might be joining your ranks. David just hired me, kind of. Gee, that's really great, Nick. You reckon it'll be a problem, just three of us working and living together? Not for me. I'm taking some time off to help Jean detox. You changed your mind? Yeah, well, she needs me. Good on you. So, I'll see you guys at home, eh? Oh, at our house? Yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Damn, bad idea. She's got her own place. You can go there. No, we can't, OK? It's all too familiar, you know? I mean, it's too easy for her to get a fix. Have you forgotten about Natasha? I don't want her exposed to a detoxing junkie. I will be with Jean every minute of the day. No one will be affected but us. Yeah, because it's not happening. No way. Yeah, it is happening. And if either of you aren't happy with it, then be my guest and move out. Redundant files. Let me at him. Delete anything important and I'll delete you. Does Marge's Christmas card list count as important? <laughs> Rachel. What? There's something I need to talk to you about. Well, can it wait till tonight? I'm busy. Uh, actually, I need to discuss it with you before we get home, if that's all right. Fine. I'm taking a break in a few minutes. You can wait for me in the staff room. OK. And don't move. What about this Millennium Bug thing? I mean, it's all very well bringing the system up to speed, but if it's going to crash in a few months, what's the point? Told you before, the Y2K bug is a load of bull. There must be something in it. There's not. I'm about to prove it to you. How? Make your New Year's resolution. We're celebrating early. You put in the computer clock forward? To the last few seconds of 1999. No, Nick, no, don't. No, it'll be fine. I said no. It's okay. No! OK, you win. You better go see Wave. Don't touch that clock. Drop something. Oh, contact lens. 
Oh, I'll give you a hand. No, no, um, I'd rather... Uh, you didn't stand on it if you don't mind. Rachel McKenna, please report to reception immediately. Good luck. Luke was here. Did you see him leave? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I lost him and Mackenzie. Well, I've seen Mackenzie just outside her office not long ago. She's in the clinic? Well, like I said... Please listen to me. I've heard enough. I thought I made that clear. You did. And I don't blame you if you never want to see me again. Tracking down Chris, I, I was way out of line. Glad we agree on something. And the rest, it was stupid, it was wrong. I am really ashamed of myself. I know it's not much of an excuse, but... I only act the way I did because I love you. And I thought you loved me too. So did I. Until I found out what kind of a man you really are. And now I just feel betrayed and disgusted. I wish I'd never met you. Here goes. Here goes what? I'm about to prove the Millennium Bug doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. How exactly? Putting the clock forward. Wants to bet nothing will happen. What, are you mad? No, it'll be fine. Well, have you got backup for everything? Trust me. Where are you going? Oh, looking for mum. Oh, quickly, minute this way. Oh, what are you doing? We've got to go. Come on. Let's go with me. Ten, nine, Mick. eight, seven, Get down. six, five. Four, three, two, one.